guys. So, okay. So I'm gonna be talking about this. So I'm gonna be talking about the story of how I broke my leg. So when I was in sixth grade, my school went on a trip to the mountains, like in Alabama. It was like basically like a week long. So that Thursday, we. We went on a night hike before this. Um, I actually almost fell then. <laughs> so this time we had a, a night hike again. And we all went down by the river. And we all got like our groups. Because we had like groups for the whole week. And we got in our groups. And we went down like one. Like groups in order. Like to the, the hike or whatever they call it. Like it was like a trail or something. And... It was our turn to go and they were like okay we need someone to go in the back like there was a leader and there was someone in the very back to i don't even know it was just like one person had like a map one i don't know what made me like but i was just like i want to be in the back so we start going and the group starts going really fast like we were walking and i don't normally hike like i don't go hiking that much and like so i wasn't really used to like going like like in the woods like walking and stuff so I was just kind of like slow down and um we I got lost like me and the guy in front of me we got lost for a second like I was kind of like where do we go I'm I don't really remember but it was like I was just I turned around and like, this is all really confusing and anyway so we found our group and I was just like can y'all slow down a little bit and they like one of the people in my group told me to like turn my flashlight off um because like we were like it was like part of the hike and stuff so me being the dumb person i am turned it off and i'm trying to walk and trying to keep up with my group and i'm just so scared and i was just i, I told them to stop and then like i started walking kind of fast and like i remember like the next thing I knew, like, I fell down, and I was, like, grabbing on to, like, I don't know. It's, like, yelling, and, like, I remember, like, I had no idea. Like, I remember feeling, like, a pain in my leg. Like, it was, like, a sh Like, it didn't even really hurt that bad. Like, it was just kind of, like, a pressure. Like, I felt a lot of pressure on my leg. And so I started yelling, and someone, like, the people, like, the adults came, and, like, they got me, like, pulled me up and stuff because I fell it, like I thought I was like by the river like I think like because what we were like standing right in front of the river already so this is probably really confusing um but basically I thought that I was like holding on the river was like right under me which I think that's what it was but someone told me that it was like I fell into like, a ditch or something I'm not sure what it was but it was by like the river I could hear the river from it so I don't know if I was about to fall in probably not but I thought I was and I was like panicking the whole time like I thought for sure I was dead and anyway so they pulled me up and I was like is my leg broken and they're just like nah because I didn't even think my leg was broken like I just thought like maybe it could be because I don't know I couldn't like walk on it or anything so I was just like I thought I twisted a muscle or something so they had to carry me all the way back and it was terrible because we went down so many stairs to get down there and they had to take me and like I had to hold on and my arms got sore because it was a pretty long walk because we had to go all the way back, back from the river all the way back to where like the like buildings were and stuff so that was a long walk it probably wasn't that long like if you're just walking it probably it wasn't really that long but it is when you're trying to hold on and your leg is being like moved around all the time it is pretty painful so we had to stop and and like go and stop and I actually lost my shoe during all this I didn't even notice until like the guy brought it to me he was like oh here's your shoe I was that was like the least of my worries and so I sat down like in the cafeteria thingy they have and I was sitting there like the nurse came and gave me some pain medicine. I never cried 
like during all this but I was screaming and like it only like it hurt when I tried to stand on it and obviously it would because it was broken but I didn't know and like I honestly did not think it was no one thought it was broken and one of my teachers was like try to stand on it now and I tried because I thought like maybe I could stand on it because I've twisted my ankle so many times and I thought like it was something wrong with my ankle because that's kind of where the pain was for some reason and so I stepped on it and I felt like it felt like my bone was on fire so I sat back down and that's when I started like crying and I had the pain medicine and I was just sitting there you know just thinking about life and one, like someone else came in there where's my hair okay so one of them, so someone else came in there and they were crying and they were being carried and I was just like what's going on and it turned out that this girl broke her arm and her arm was worse than my leg at that like time because it was like bent and like it was just so bad and she went to the hospital like right away like they took her like they, she was in there for like maybe 20 minutes and they were like y'all we're taking her to the hospital and I'm just sitting there and thinking my leg was gonna be fine and so one of my teachers gave me a piggyback ride get me there faster but it was just like really painful but you know I had to get there somehow and so I laid down on my bed and one of my the people in my cabin's moms were a nurse and she looked at my leg and she was saying it was kind of swollen and I, you know I wanted to stay because I didn't really want to like leave because you know we were on a trip and I thought it'd be better in the morning so that night was absolutely terrible I had my I didn't really have any extra pillows or anything so I used my backpack and like to prop my leg up on and the pain medicine did nothing for me it was so painful like that whole time and I was yelling and my whole cabin they no one got sleep that night because I was yelling and no one I wasn't the only one that couldn't sleep that night and so I should have left but no one no one thought it was broken because I was yelling and all that but I was pretty like calm for the most part for until we got to like the night like going to bed and stuff I was pretty calm about like I mean for someone that just broke their leg you would not it's just I don't think that makes sense but no one like I didn't anyways um so that morning it didn't feel any better it felt worse so that time I had a crutches because they have a pair or something so I got to the car and um the, the nurse that was in my cabin took me and my mom back to the hospital like to the hospital and when I got there um, I got x-rays and the doctor came back and he was like guess what your legs broken and no we were all so shocked about it and I had to get I got a thigh cast and I had that on for about two months and first they told me they didn't know if I was gonna have surgery or not and I was so scared because I never had surgery and I just did not want to have surgery because they put metal on your leg and that scared me <laughs> and but it turned it turned out that I didn't need surgery and it could heal on its own so that was I was so happy when <laughs> I found out and so I was in a tie cast for about two months I broke was my tibia which is the big shin bone like there's two bones and I think one's like the fibula I forgot the name of it but I broke the tibia, tibia, which is the big bone. And it was a clean cut and could not move my foot at all when I got out of the thigh cast. And they had to kind of move it for me. And all my bones were popping and stuff. And I was just kind of like, what are you doing? And learning to walk again was so hard for me. It was because every time like I tried to walk on my leg, I would always like, fall down because I had no muscle and I had to start I had to keep on doing it because I wasn't able to get my muscle back and it was just it was just not easy at all it was basically teaching like myself how to walk again 
next time I started like walking again I was at the mall <laughs> and I was trying to get like I was just trying to like, walk around and I was just like you know what I can walk I was like you know what I can walk I can do like I can do it and so I started walking and before I could like even like kind of swoop down because like I would like take a step and I would kind of go like that I just put my other leg there like I was like I put I will like put pressure on that leg like walk on it and I'll put my other leg down like, real fast and I started walking then and I was really happy good thing was all my classes were downstairs yeah that's it